Hello everybody, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is the first time you're here. I'm just gonna fall right in with it. Um, I have a bit of a cold and I lost my voice this morning and it's just starting to come back so if I sound a little bit weird uh, you know why. It's just you know I'm fine otherwise it's just my voice so I'm sorry if I sound a little bit weird but you know it's the season of hay fever um, it's very common this time of year so whatever. Let's just get straight into the video. We are building a habitat today for the clouded leopard. Now the clouded leopard was an animal that was added um, when the last DLC came live and that was the East Asia uh, DLC of Animal Pack. And this clouded leopard is so cute like it really is you saw in the cinematics and probably the thumbnail. It's a very cute animal just yay so cute. And we are building a perfect habitat for that today. So this habitat for the clouded leopard is on top of the mountain and opposite the um, Malaysian black bear. If I remember correctly, there's like a bear habitat. And it's very close to the uh, gondola because we made a gondola. And that's basically just to do that you have no way of getting from one side of the park to the other side of the park. When you are at the elephants, you have to walk all the way back. And that's just not very uh, pleasant to do. It's it's not. We all know it, but it's really not pleasant to walk all the way back. And I didn't want to build a bridge over the water because that's kind of ruined the aesthetics. I tried it, but it didn't look good. So here we are. We built a gondola. And it was quite a big effort though, because, you know, um, it was really difficult to build. And I don't know if that was just me because I never really used right, so... It probably is just me that it's a little bit more difficult for me to build that. I had the same with the boat ride. I never ever used that, so it was quite um, a bit of a hassle to figure it out and figure out why something worked and why something didn't work. But in the end, it was good and now our guests can get from one side of the park to the other side without having to walk all the way back. Leads me to another point. In this park, in the end, there will be three rides at minimum because we already have, well, like two and a half. We had the boat ride, it was our first ride, and then we had the suspended gondola, which you can see in the background on the right or left. And um, we also have a monorail, which isn't complete yet. It will be like one of the last episodes, um, just because I want to build the... Um, wait, did I say gondola? I didn't mean that, I meant monorail. I want to build a monorail at the end just because then I can lead it through all the animals and all the habitats and make it look pretty. I have built a station already that was next to the uh, leopard. Perhaps you've seen it in one of those videos. If not, um, in some videos you can see it in the background of Monorail Station. It is very white, obviously because the rails are white and then the rest of the building is made of wood. And I absolutely love it, but we are not here to talk about the monorail. We will do that some other time when the monorail is actually more finished which today it is not and that's fine because you know the park isn't done yet and um right now we are building a uh what do you call it a i want to say a sleeping habitat but that's not the name a shelter that's the name a shelter for the clouded leopards and i wanted to build um Oh, I don't really know if it's a style. In the end, it kind of reminds me of a Japanese style because of the roof textures that we that I used. But it wasn't really my intentional idea to make it like ultra Japanese. For you those who don't know, I'm actually following a class Japanese at the moment. So in two to three years, I'm fluent in Japanese, which is you know, my dream because I can finally go to Japan and I always love to go to Japan. But that's a topic for a whole another time. That's not the time to discuss it now. But it looks quite Japanese, and maybe that's like, um, um, I don't want to say unwanted, but unnoticeable because, you know, I'm into Japanese culture at the moment, so who knows? And obviously to make it a little bit more modern, we are going to use a glass roof. And also that makes sure that there's actually natural light inside of the sleeping uh, area. Because otherwise I'm afraid if it's like dark or the lighting is just wrong, you can't really see the animals, and that would just be a shame, you know because obviously you want to be able to see the animals. I mean, that's why you go to the zoo. So you want some natural light as well. You know, it's nice for the animals, it's nice for the guests. Nice for everyone. Let me just take a sip of water because I can feel my voice disappearing. Whoa. 
Yes, a little bit better. And obviously we are making a little bit of a roof trim out of wood. It just feels natural with the, with the stone and then, you know, the Japanese style roof. It just it feels nice. Plus I saw that these clouded leopards, oh, I just hit the microphone. The clouded leopards actually have um, like a hammock style thing. I am so in love with it. It looks so cute. And this habitat is quite big. Like not big as in wide, but as in long. It goes all the way back to the mountain in the back. And I actually really like that. They have a lot of space and you can see them really well. I've checked it from the guest per perspective. You can actually see them really well and I'm really happy with it. And in a minute we're going to do some amazing waterfall structures with that little water there. Which is so cute because you all know I love waterfalls. Love, love, love them. And you know, not to brag about it, but I actually feel like I'm quite good at building waterfalls. And you know the clouded leopards need some um, climbing space, so we just built a little bridge for them. And I'm actually really happy with the way that it turned out. Obviously our first try was a little bit crooked. And then the second try worked perfectly well, so we are copying it over. And we are going to have two of them, just to make sure that they have enough climbing space. And then we're also going to have some other trees where they can climb in. We're going to make some amazing roofs, roof structures. Oh my god, my voice, can you hear that? Whoa! <coughs> Sorry for that. We're going to have some amazing structures here, like climbing structures here. You're going to fill it up with some rocks underneath. And whoa, what the heck, my frickity frack, my voice. I'm so, so sorry. I usually don't have this. But you know, I don't want to have a video without any voice because I like talking, which is kind of my downfall. I like talking. That's really shouldn't do that in this situation because my voice obviously needs rest. I mean, hey, luckily I have the, uh, I had the zoo tour plans already for last Monday, did that the week before. So, and I hope it will be better so I can post another tour coming Monday, but I'm sure it will. And if it's not, um, I will throw something out of my backlogs on there, but you will see that in the end. Ah, uh, yeah, so here we are building the actual um, um, waterfall, and it's actually quite nice, and I really, really like it. And we're building just a little bit of a water, like it was that we didn't have enough water in this habitat already, but it's really nice. And then we are adding some plants and some trees where they can climb on. And I actually built this part on stream. I do have a Twitch channel. I almost never use it. And that's because um, I live at home at the moment still, but I'm moving in a few weeks. And I am very loud when I stream because I have noise counseling headphones. So I'm just extremely loud. And, um, you know, that's quite annoying obviously for the people I live with because I tend to scream so you don't want that so um, when I have my own place I can be as loud as I want obviously keeping my neighbors in consideration but I can be louder than now and that's actually really nice and here we are just finishing up the rest of the habitat making sure that it's a little bit cohesive with the style of the habitat that's next to it so there's more the black bears or Malaysian bears and then just to keep it realistic, because, you know, otherwise they would just go under the bridge because they can obviously go under there. We built this little, um, or I built this little, I don't want to say gate, but just to keep it natural, like the water can still go through there, but the animals can't. And they can't actually climb on it as well, because I was kind of afraid that they would be able to climb on that, but luckily they can't. And just some little um, finishes to the habitat, making sure there is some bamboo so they feel a little bit more protected. And I actually feel like it's really nice. And then you have this little decorating of the trees. And I'm actually, guys, I'm really sorry, but my voice cannot keep this up. So I am going to go now. I'm very sorry. But you know what? It's like three minutes until the cinematics. And... Um, I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of the video without my voice because as you can hear it it just doesn't work so I'm very sorry but all my socials are down below give it a follow if you enjoyed the video give it a like a thumbs up which is the same as a like and you can follow subscribe you know leave a comment do all those fun things I will see you on the next video bye guys